All of a sudden, Telegram released a new update and added some fascinating features. Besides, the messenger added one hidden but very important change, without which the app couldn't operate properly. What are we talking about and what are the details of the new update? Find out next in our video today. Welcome to the Teleblog channel and let's get started. For the second time in 2021, Telegram introduces a fresh update in the middle of the month. The first change concerns the chat design. By updating the app, users now have the ability to set one of eight specially created themes in any of their private chats. To set a unique style for your chat on iOS, tap the chat header, then More and select Change Colors. Here you will get different options. Each theme comes with a day and night version. To see how either design looks in different modes, just click on the moon or sun icons. To change a chat theme on Android, tap the chat header, then three vertical dots and change colors. Each of the new themes features colorful gradient message bubbles, beautifully animated backgrounds, and unique background patterns. I don't particularly like the patterns, as they distract me from the texts. Keep in mind that by setting any of these eight themes, it will also change for the other person. The Telegram team says that it's just the beginning, and in the next update, users will have even more design options. In the new update, Telegram continues to make our communication more fun by adding even more interesting things. I'm talking about interactive emoji. With the new update, when you send a single emoji you see on the screen and then tap on the animated emoji, users get additional full-screen effects. If both of you and your chat partner have the chat open, the animations and vibrations play simultaneously on your devices. A large animated pile of poo emoji deserves special attention because it spits its smaller versions. The Messenger team reports that the list of interactive emojis will be getting bigger and bigger on a regular basis. We'll continue in just a second. And now I want to pause and remind you that you are the main incentive in creating new videos. If you're new to this channel and want to know more about Telegram and other social networks, subscribe to the channel, please. And if you're a regular, thank you for that. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate your support because it helps promote my channel and make more exciting content for you. Did you know that group messages are marked as read as soon as one other member sees them? But you don't know who exactly it is. And now in the new update, in groups with fewer than 50 people, you can see which group members have read the message. To see those people, just click on the message you sent and tap Seen. Here you will find the list of names who read your message in the group. Telegram also notes that to protect users' privacy, read receipts in groups are only stored for 7 days after the message was sent. Let me also remind you that with the last update, to celebrate the 8th anniversary of Telegram, they introduced group video calls with an unlimited number of people. Now with a fresh update, admins can record live streams and video chats. To record a live stream, you first need to start it, then tap on the three horizontal dots on Android and vertical dots on iOS. Here you will have several options – to record video and audio, or only audio. Choose an orientation for the final video file, portrait or landscape. Once started, all participants will see a red dot next to the word video chat, which indicates that recording is in progress. After you finish recording or end the broadcast, the file is instantly uploaded to your saved messages. Well, that's it with all the major changes, but there is one more hidden thing. Something that a Telegram user won't notice, but which the Messenger team had to improve. One of the reasons why we saw the update in the middle of the month was because Durov and the team had to switch to a new system of values. Let me explain what it is. Since 2013, Telegram had used 32-bit values. Recently, it began to run out of identifiers of users, bots, groups and channels. In simple words, in the future, Telegram wouldn't be able to register new users, create new channels, groups or bots. With the new update, the Telegram team is migrating to the 64-bit range and therefore expanding. That's why the developers rushed to release a new update so that users wouldn't encounter mass failures when signing up or creating bots, channels or groups. By the way, after updating Telegram, some users may have to wait a minute or two 
for their chat database to be optimized for 64 bits. If you see a similar message, don't worry, the app takes time to switch to the new system. So as you can see, besides the visible changes, there are sometimes hidden innovations and some very important changes that help improve Telegram. Share in the comments which you think is the best innovation and which is not really necessary. I read all of your messages. And that's it for today. It's the Telebloke channel. Subscribe and find out more.